cut off one layer and peel it off. This is the second layer. So there are eight layers, and these are his drawings. And what happens is that we have this direction, and, and the between the two, <coughs> middle ones, is a straight across, horizontal, and then at the very end it's reversed. So again, the heart is a reversal of angles and balancing in the middle. So what I mean is this, this is what the heart does. They don't know how this configuration happens. Mm -hmm. So what I did was just take my cone thing, and I realized that I saw that the muscles tuck under like this. See how they tucks under? So I knew they were in a layer, and layer in a spiral. Mm -hmm. So I had to figure out what the heck this was. And so I made this way of doing this, and of course if you do it one like I showed you, it's eight and a half, right? I mean four and a half. Well, this is eight. So if I double this, which I tried to do, if I double this like this, then I have four and a half here and four and a half here. Well, that's nine. Well, anyway, I thought, well, maybe I spiral in this one and then spiral this the opposite direction and put them together. Well, my problem is that they don't stay. Well, that thing's wrapped up good. <laughs> well, that didn't work. So I had the same idea. I took two cones and I put them together. Like that. So, what I did here was I took one cone and I, uh, which you guys can do just like I did, I put them together like this and I put a paper clip on it to hold it. And of course, then I have to make sure that this is accurate and I'm not just doing a guessing thing. Okay, but that's the same size cone. It's the same cone. So what I decided to do is to roll it up. So I rolled it up. <coughs> Until I got to where I glued them together. See where I glued them together. Mm -hmm. There. Still making sure that that's correct. Now somewhere I put some paper clips on here that I could use to hold this one from moving around. Um, they might be on the table far table. I thought they were on the table somewhere. Yeah, the, the Get so many things on this table. <laughs> I don't know who brings this stuff out. <laughs> oh yeah, here they are. Boy, yeah, that's all right. You found them underneath. Mm -hmm. So I just put this here to hold it so I can do the work on the other end. It's I guess that's what God end. does, eh? He puts a paper clip on. <laughs> when he makes us. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to do this right. You know, I make a lot of mistakes even in my <coughs> presentation. And I remember when the, when I was at the Grothian giving a lecture, and I made a big mistake. And then, the, uh, I th you know, I I told them I could I could square the circle using uh, the inside of the earth and going to the outside, so the opposite. So I didn't bring it with me, but they said, "Well, you can draw it on the board." I said, "Yeah, I probably made pants. I went up to the board. I couldn't do it." <laughs> so You're I a said, well, I'm sorry, I just can't do You're it. You're a sculptor. And they said. Uh, well, would you try again? And I did. I still couldn't do it. So that's a real zero, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so then this old, old fellow, an old anthropologist, stood up. And he says, Now I know this guy's authentic. And I go, Whoa, what is this going to be? <laughs> and he said, The reason he's authentic is because in the spiritual world, when you work with spirit research, you have to do it almost all over again every time because you can't remember. <laughs> So I went from to a zero to a hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, this doesn't work. It's still connected together. So what I decided to do is that I said, well, let's see, what can I do? So I just rolled this one around it. You know how I did this? I rolled it around until I got them all together. And now I, I counted how many I had on this side. I had eight now on this side <coughs> and one on this side. I realized all I had to do was bend this and that the other centrical. Now I had the right and left. So to make sure that this was correct, I tried to unravel it. So to try to find out if I had this <coughs> right. So you can see that it runs this way. I cut off a layer, which is the next one. And then I cut off another layer, starting to get straight. Now it is straight. Now I've got to reverse it and go the other direction. So 
Let's see if it does. Mm -hmm. The mystery is solved. <laughs> now we know how the muscle layers come in through one vortex that are going in two directions mm -hmm. at the same time. So it's really two vortexes. Okay. Now let's see what happens here. What I did next. Oh, this is off the internet. This shows layering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do I make this thing? You know, the heart doesn't look like this, and it doesn't look like, like this. So what you have to do is put things into minimum surfaces. The minimum surfaces is to take any form that you have and put it in soap, okay, and then try to blow a bubble. Sometimes this works, and sometimes it doesn't. But I know some people could come up here and play with it, and I'll get it. No, it's not. It's not forming. Maybe this will. Oh, you're getting a tetrahedron, which is not what we want. We want a cube. Anyway, to prove I can do this, I got a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen it in real. I'm going to try. I'll continue to try for a little bit. But what happens is that some soaps work better than others. And usually, when I go to a uh, well, their schools, their soap doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't have uh, the, the bubble type of thing in there. Uh, well, anyway, I don't have it. So, But somebody can play around when they get through. <laughs> and you can get it. So, there it is. It shows that when you put something in the minimum surface, you no more have anything that's straight. It's all curves. Mm -hmm. So, I put the seven-sided form in there, just like this and the soap, Can and I blew a bubble on it, and this is it. Frank, go back to, go the, back to the bubble. The previous. What do you want to go back previous. to? The, the bubble. One? The bubble. This one? No, previous. Previous. Yeah. That's yeah. the one. Oh, yeah. It's nice looking, isn't it? It looks great when I can actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, someone will do it in here. I know they did in the last lecture. That soap didn't work for them. Ah, oh, someone's already trying. So, anyway, I, did, I dipped my form in here, and this is what I got, was this form. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a biomorphic form based on suction. Why a suction? Because minimum surfaces, those surfaces bow out like that because they're being sucked out. Mm -hmm. And they form a biomorphic form. And this is actually so close to the human heart. There is the left ventricle and the right ventricle together. This is the left ventricle. Okay, and so I thought I had a uh, picture of them together, but I don't. But it's the same form. Look at that. It has the same thing going on down here, which they have no idea why. And of course, the reason why is because this is the form of the, sh of the seven sided form, and the vortex can't get below that. Now they know why it's paper thin. It don't need to be thick. <laughs> 